Of just winning SEC Player of the Week, what does that mean to you? Uh, it just, I mean, it means a lot. You know, like last year, I went through a couple of things that were even, you know, like a rough one. So, yeah, it actually means a lot. You know, the, the hard work is paying off. So, it feels pretty good. So, what, what kept your attitude up through everything? I mean, I know you had the UCL surgery, mm -hmm. you know, sat out, redshirted, didn't play as much as you wanted to last year, didn't go as well as you wanted. Mm -hmm, yeah. What kept your attitude solid through the whole thing? Uh, honestly, I mean, just keep on grinding. I mean, even the best guys in the big league slump and stuff, you know, so I'm not perfect. I mean, this is a game, like, it's a pretty hard game. You know, you, like, if you fail seven out of, out of ten times, you're still, oh, I'm hitting 300. So, I mean, just keep my head up, keep on working, you know, try to get better at things that I wasn't good at. And like I said before, you know, strength my the stuff that I'm really good at. So, I mean, just stay the course, keep working, hopefully it starts paying off, like I said. How much does your success in the past week, like, what does it do for your confidence? I mean, it just, I mean, obviously it gives me like a uh, better confidence at the play, playing defense. I mean, when you're doing well, everything that you, everything you do, you feel good about it and stuff. So, I mean, I think it just brings the energy also for the guys that are supporting me behind me and stuff. So, I think it's just good energy overall. Do you think second's your natural position at this point or your future home? Or what do you think? Uh, honestly, wherever. I mean, I've, I've played on all nine through my, my whole career. I mean, like you said, today I played first base, I played short, third. I've even been behind the play sometimes too. So, I mean, anywhere for me, you can put me, honestly. The sort of the growth you've made defensively. I know you've always been a guy who you know, has the hands and, and the good arm, but it seems like you know you're getting the balls that, that maybe weren't in the past. I mean, mm -hmm. what's how much do you feel like you've improved defensively? Oh, I, I, I mean, I, I mean, we got Ricky Martinez. He's probably one of the best defensive players I've been that had in a while, honestly. And I mean, working with that guy, he helps me like you know, a lot of the movements and stuff. We do a bunch of things that we work on, and honestly, then just the, the better I get over there, the, the, the better it is for the team as well. So. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, it, that's a guy who's going to pound the strikes on all day, every day. You know, that's what you want out of a pitcher, you know. Make him hit, you know, pitch the contact, trust he's even behind you. So, I mean, it's pretty good to have it on my team. Kind of a slow start with the bats. Do you think seeing that kind of that first ball get hit kind of helped the team move past that slow start? I mean, yeah, I guess, I mean, we weren't taking bat swings, you know, where we hit on the ball, just right at people and stuff, you know. But other than that, I mean, we're not really worried and stuff. You know, we can handle the bat very well. We've shown that, so we wasn't really worried about it. Going to, to Gainesville this weekend, I know that you know, maybe maybe a different part of Florida is your your second home. Will you be able to have any family come up or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I actually, I have a bunch of family coming. I've got my actually my mom and my brother is going to have family friends from Puerto Rico flying up to Florida to see me. So that'll be a cool experience uh, for sure. You know, that's been a long time since I've seen them. So it'll be really really good to catch up with them. How many people are we talking about? Oh, uh, <laughs> if I could give a number, honestly, like 20 plus. Yeah, 20, 25 plus. <laughs> yeah, it's a big number. So some Tennessee fans will be down there, I guess. Oh, yeah, there will be a lot of orange over <laughs> <really> there. <laughs> How does the mind mindset change for you guys as a team leading up to a you know, road weekend series compared to here at home? Uh, I don't think it changes, honestly. You know, we like, like I said, we kind of have the label as a villain, I guess you can call it, they've been saying it. But I mean, the, the game by game is the same. I mean, we treat every game. Every team's the same they are. I mean, we never under, underestimate them or anything like that. So, I mean, we just keep on doing our own thing. Y'all seem to like a little bit of the hostility on the road, though, don't you? I mean, it seems like when y'all go on the road and people boo you, it just it, it doesn't seem to phase you. Yeah, to like, better. absolutely. I mean, just like fuel to the fire, honestly. Like, that's, that's how we say it. And, like, and one thing that, shout out to Ricky Martinez for this. We're the man in the arena. I mean, we're the guys playing at the end of the day. And, I mean, we do whatever we want. We control our stuff and stuff. So, I mean, we, know, we don't let that affect to us. I'm sure you're pretty familiar with the Force program mm -hmm. and how much talent they have. So what do you all need to do this weekend to take care of business? Just keep on doing what we're doing. Obviously, it's working and stuff. You know, don't try to change anything. If it's working, why, if it's not broken, why fix it? You know, so just keep on doing our own thing. Don't worry about anything else. Anything else for Jarrell? You guys do anything fun for Jordan's birthday? For Jordan's birthday? Oh, uh, he's, uh, what, 36 now, according to V? Uh, but um, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I did wish him a happy birthday. He looks like he's actually 35 years old. He's built like it. But honestly, I don't know. Good question. <laughs> anything else? All right, thanks, Jarrell. Thanks, man.